I can feel me front wheel, front wheel's dead like because I've got all flipping all weight on back, I've got all my pasta in back and flipping tea bags and all that stuff. Oh flipping egg. Oh dear. Go on then, Chris, do your thing. Right, so, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Wow, it's been a while, but I still got it right first time. <laughs> Whatever time of day it is for you, for me, and it was. Let's say for us, really. Yeah, don't forget about me. Yeah. The little uh, short eye squeaking in my ear. <laughs> it's uh... half ten, 10.34. That's not bad, five, minute del five minutes late. Hello. Hello, yeah. This is yeah. This is why I didn't want to come down here earlier. And we're on the A24, leaving Rikers at Box Hill, and we're off to Loomis in Petersfield. Yeah, we're near Guildford, aren't we, at the minute? And uh, I don't know which way we're going. I know it's non-motorway. Well, we're going south, aren't we? I would have thought. Uh, I think we're <laughs> well, going his in compass a... direction's not good enough. I think we're going in a south-east... No. Never, never eat shredded wheat. <laughs> That's uh, what I do. That's mine. You can't nick my stuff. <laughs> Naughty elephants. Oh, yeah, the other one. Squirt something. Squirt water. Oh, yeah, squirt water. <laughs> or as you say, water. Water. Or just what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's southwesterly direction to be fair. And this is a bad time for me to do a lane change. And uh, yes. And then, yeah, it's just a ride to Lumi's organised by. Uh, the short arse that we call Hippograms. Oh, yeah, he's not a short in person, you know. I was expecting him to be a lot shorter. <laughs> No, honestly, because he always says that he is a bit short for his big adventure bike stuff and his off-road bikes and he's always putting low seats on and stuff. He was about the same height as me. Uh, yeah, Pe I think Pez is shorter than you. Um, but yeah, no. So, uh, yeah, it's his, his first attempt at organising a road ride. Uh, a subscriber ride. And, uh, yeah, so uh, we're doing this today and the Saddlebag Social tomorrow. Of course, you are Chris Wallace, uh, Lone Wally UK. Don't forget that again. Oh, I had yeah. to remind you last time. Oh, I've got my head if it works through them. <laughs> so, at the front, the Zippo drones, uh, is that f who's that behind him? I don't know, but he's on is the prettier. Is that just some ra random bob? Oh, yeah. He's on the, on the prettier. Same as Zippo drones. Me, you, someone on an Africa twin who I've seen at these rides before, but I don't know who he is. Uh, the people, I, I suppose I should really go with the people that I do know that's here. Bill 480 is on his Tiger 800. Uh, new bikers on his... I think I can see that Tiger. I've got the 360 camera on. So if, it, if the big Africa twin gigantic flipping humongous machine behind me is not covering it all, uh, I should get a shot. You might catch him. He's got the blue Tiger with the grey peak. Yeah. Yeah, I'll come, I'll come next to you. Might be able to get like a cool view of you. Oh no, my big head's in the way, I think. Well. <laughs> I do like them Aprilias. Yeah, I quite like how this like, the Ippo drones is, is red and this one's yellow and the seat's yellow as well. It's quite cool. Yeah. I just don't know if I could daily, daily ride an Aprilia. For obvious reasons. Well, you'd be tall enough. Yeah, I am tall enough. It's like, when you go to these dealerships, I expect there to be a, one of them signs that says you have to be this tall to, to use this ride. Um, and I wouldn't pass that. Uh, you, you, you'd be alright. You'd be well suited to a big adventure bike. Oh, I know. But unfortunately, you're, you're on kind of an adventure bike, a bit of both. Hey, up! Oh. <laughs> so I was just waving to that flipping little shagger down at the bottom. <laughs> that has a different meaning down here, I think. Little shagger? Little shagger, yeah. 
I wouldn't go around calling kids that. What's the idea to call them snot goblins? <laughs> well, I can't remember what I was saying now. That flipping snot goblins distracted me. <laughs> I was on about something important. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm glad I've undone all my vents. Yeah, uh, you see, because I, the weather forecast said it's going to be a wet one, folks. I, I thought, I'll wear the winter gear, I'll wear the magic waterproof gear from last year, and I'm flipping sweating like a pig. <laughs> In your leather trousers. I bet your hands aren't sweating though. Uh, my hands are hot because I left my flipping gloves on my like on my tank and they've just like preheated like a flipping oh. loaf of bread or something. Nice. And uh and my flipping I've got loads of layers on. They said it was gonna be raining. I can't remember, did we say what oh that's a nice feel. Um yeah, did we say what we we're, we're doing? It's the Hippodrome social ride. Uh, I think so, but yeah, we're doing that. And then, as I say, we're going from there, from Loomis. We'll finish at Loomis, and then we're going to um, go to the other Southerners. Yeah, go and see the the the, the, uh, the Westernly Southerners. Yeah, the seaside. The yeah, we've seen the <coughs> Easternly ones. Um, uh, yeah, as I say we're camping at Ray Valley again tonight. This is the same place we camp. Uh, yeah, last year where we tried to get out of the muddy field. Yeah, where Paulie shit himself and nearly shit himself this morning. Well, no, um, this morning it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. To be fair, no. I, I, th I thought I did all right, but yeah. getting into the field, I didn't record that, and I was—I think I was going down every single flipping hole that a mole had dug. One of these days, one of these days, I'll have to jump on the devil on something that you're shitting yourself at in like, on a field or somewhere. Oh no, because if you did drop it, then I've got a, a, a muddy, broken <laughs> mic, and you're just like, "Sorry, Shag, your mic <laughs> broke." Oh, the good job I've got my CB, although your CB broke, so yeah, karma. Karma's a bitch. Oh, yeah, but then I brought another one and it's fine. Yeah, last year we were saying how it was on 81,000 mile, and this year you could have said it was on 100,000 mile, but no. Yeah. But no, some sort of, yeah, they decided it wanted to be a single cylinder, not a twin cylinder. And to be fair, I, I don't blame it with all the new um, new bikes coming out that are single cylinder and stuff. It probably thought, I want a bit of that. I want to be part of the... I want to feel new again, I want to feel young, and then it just went bang, and <laughs> it didn't really work properly. But 97 and a half thousand miles, not bad. No, no, it was quite respectable. I tell you what though, it is nice having a bike with different, uh, I mean this one's got different springs, it's got Hagen progressives. Oh yeah, you've got the progressives, yeah. And either somebody's put a different shock on, or they've just set this the OEM shock up differently, um, but it's nice to have a bike with decent suspension. I'm going to say that's what I quite like about my bike. I haven't got progressive springs or, or like that, and there but is still a bit of dive. Really easy to get out. But yeah, the real one, you can adjust it dead easy, and it's got 40 adjustments or 30 adjustments. I don't know what I'm on right now, but I cranked it up six notches to chuck the tent on back. Of course, we are camping, we're in it to win it, representing the north in the most northern way. Um, yeah. So yeah, I've got a ton of luggage on back, and as you say, oh, Paulie, you've overpacked. You've overpacked, and they cooked your bloody tea last night. I didn't overpack. <laughs> I you, was, you, you wasn't saying I was overpacking when you was flipping tucking into a nice bit of scran, was you? Oh, no, no. Oh, there's a big puddle. And gravel. Oh, my flipping God. What is this? I thought this was, I thought it was the, the off-road ones tomorrow or something. What a state of this. Yeah, this is what I want. I like these. Second gear, on the pegs. Through we go. Oh, you're splashing me. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I've got my feet very wet. You flipping splash me. <laughs> I think, is it on my windshield? I had to slow down. Oh, I could have, I could have flipping feet. died. My feet, feet sweat. You try uh, the bottom of oh, yeah. the legs wet. I've got one <laughs> wet foot. I don't think I had it on the peg properly. We've lost a few of the bikes. I think they're in drink. <laughs> I think they're in the drink. Uh, the so I wonder why the cyclist was sat there. Well, because they don't want to get the flipping lycra wet. <laughs> the I've lycra is flipping, it's not very waterproof, is it? I've flipping, I went through that puddle like I was flipping, uh, 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 I don't know, some sort of uh, sea craft. Well, it is a yacht, the default. It is. Uh, to be fair, as it was going through the water and the, the wheels were slightly submerged, it probably did look a bit like a canal boat, so... <laughs> like, you know those, like, uh, what is it, 60-foot canal boats? Yeah, yeah. 
I, yeah, I was just saying, I thought that, that he was doing an off-road ride. I, I didn't know that was this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is like proper, proper bumpy. It's like worse roads than Derbyshire. I had, I had the arse end kick out on the stone and I had the front end step out on the stone I said, Yeah, because well. he was flipping, giving it that much gas that I got flipping splashing coming over to me. I was only in second gear. Foot, Yeah, about a 30 foot flipping tidal weave. I wasn't doing your dad and kicking up, um, for kicking up. Oh, when uh, he yeah. went through that Ford in Peak District, yeah. past you and Jess. I can't believe he didn't lose it on that. That was on <laughs> brand spanking new tyres. I know. And his back end was flipping all over the flipping chip shop. All over the chip shop. But yeah, don't get me wrong, this is incredibly scenic and it's flipping fantastic scenery. It's this fantastic weather, but the road quality is a little bit flipping this less to why, be desired. Yeah, this is why I wanted another CB. Yeah, because it can handle it. Whereas my bike, oh wait on back, I'm flipping belly pan's going to be off again like last year. Because the CB, it's got some good ground clearance, it's not overly heavy. And it just works. I think we would have definitely earned a... Oh, flipping it. Look at the... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> flipping made my tummy go funny, that did. <laughs> and it doesn't help having a bike that is, by specification, about seven foot... Uh, seven and a half foot long. Flipping bike scraped my belly pan on that. The same belly pan that's held together with cable ties after the last time you went away with me. Yeah, I didn't actually keep that bit in the video, but on basically after the videos that were on YouTube um, for the last year's social ride for Sidewalk 73, uh, we went over at Umpback Bridge. I heard a big like scrape and bang. It, it was like a bang scrape, actually. Um, and then we got back to the Tesco at Launceston where nefarious activities happened behind the Tesco bins, of course. Um, and yeah, you was like, your belly pan looks a bit low, doesn't, uh, doesn't it, mate? Or uh, in your Leicester accent, I can't do it. Um, and yeah, it was yeah, it was hanging off. It was holding on by like two bolts or one bolt or something. And I just zip tied it back on, and that's how it still is to this day. And you thought it was going to get ripped off uh, yesterday? Yeah, because the flipping field we're going. So I went down every flipping mole hole, and then the grass was like two foot long. We're not going down there, are we? No, we're going right. Oh, thank God. I didn't see your indicator. I thought we were going down that flipping muddy tractor tra trail. Oh, it's, a it's an unmarked cop bike. It was a BMRT 1200. Well, it would be a 1250 now. But it was unmarked, but it had all its bloody lights on it, if it as if it was a marked bike. Maybe a blood bike without the stickers. No, he had police on the back of his jacket. Yeah, it was a, it was a black RT, and it had the, the single seat on, obviously, because that's out of spec, but it had the... It had, four lights and a light pole. Is it a light pole or is it like radio, CB no, radio? A light pole. I got them comments. Every time I leave the flipping Insta 360 stick on back at bike facing straight up so I can, so I know it's there in my mirror, yeah. I, I get people come up to me on a park up a lot, you've got a CB radio fitted, that's pretty fancy. And I'm like, yeah, totes, 10 4 rubber duck. Flipping definitely <laughs> got a C, definitely a CB radio in this bad boy right here. Beast drum. A lot of people, scout groups and DV groups this weekend. Is that what he was? He looked about flipping 70. If he's still in scouts, he needs to just call it a day and say, I can't get that badge. No, did you not Did you not see it at Rikers? There was loads of people starting out on like DV and scout stuff. Oh. I never did that as a kid. I, I see a lot in Peak District with Duke of Edinburgh. Oh, here we go, look. It is the, here's the bike I was on the back. He's just pulling in, look. Got police on his jacket. But it's... Not been livering up. Oh, I can tell we're in the south look 20. Oh, I'm gonna say we're gonna oh no. Chris! No, I'm gonna have to sort of pick myself around it. What are you gonna get off the bike? It's gonna be easier. <laughs> I'm stuck! <laughs> I'll see you in a bit then. I'll just ride with my pal hippo. Easier to get off! He's in! You catch up? <laughs> I catch you up. <laughs> <laughs> 